Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to paint this simple beginner friendly landscape, autumn landscape with lake reflections. So I've mentioned all the materials that I've used in the description so please do check it out. Now let's get started. So what I've done is I've taped my paper and I've added that uh, central masking tape to separate the land and the lake and we'll be wetting the paper completely uh, just enough that it's uh, kind of glistening and then we start with our first color so i'm using the hansa yellow medium uh, from daniel smith you could use any warm yellow to start with and then we'll gradually add in the other colors Now we'll work wet on wet and add our next color. So I'm using a green serpentine genuine over here. Uh, you could go with any nice green. Uh, I'm not going for a very vibrant kind of green because I still want to show this transition from uh, green to yellow to red kind of uh, the phases that autumn has. So I'm using a very muted kind of green. Next we add our red so I'm going to be using the pyrrole red. Go for any nice vibrant kind of red uh, that you'd like uh, that would go with these uh, other colors that's the yellow and your green and just add them again on both sides just like what we did for the yellow and the green one. Now while the paper is still wet, I'm just going to add a little bit of sky. So uh, that's not uh, like the most prominent part of this painting. The sky is not really visible. I'm just adding a little bit of blue here to show that there's a part of the sky. And once it is dry, we start working on the wooden base. So for this, I'm just using a burnt sienna, a very light wash to start with. Uh, we'll be adding some leaves on this, some dry leaves. So that's the reason that I'm starting with a very light wash. And then we'll add up all the details on the wooden base um, later on with a darker color. Just adding a hint of uh, detail over here uh, with this darker burnt sienna, just uh, outlining the joints, the wherever the planks are joining. Adding another round of uh, detailing with the same color. Just uh, we're varying the values, we're varying the amount of water that we're taking in each of these uh, layers. That's it. But it's all the same color. Uh, I just started with the lightest wash of this one and then I'm just adding it up. Now once this is dry, uh, we add those dry leaves. So for this I'm using the same pyrrole red but with a very thick consistency in the sense that uh, it's, it's not very watered down. It's a lot of pigment so it will show up on that uh, brown, the burnt sienna.
adding another round of leaves uh, this time a little darker so i'm using a mix of alizarin crimson and this spiral red to just uh, create some variation in the leaves that that are there on the planks Okay, time to remove the masking tape. Uh, be a little gentle with it and make sure your painting is completely dry before the step. And uh, don't be in a rush, just uh, peel it off slowly. Peel it at an angle if possible. In this case, we both the sides of the tape are uh, attached to the paper, so it really won't matter. Just uh, maybe try not to rip the paper off. But now that uh, we have that clean edge, we'll just add a little bit of uh, base or the land so i'm starting with uh, my yellow again and then we'll add in the details later with a bit of red and a bit of uh, burnt sienna dropping in some pyrrole red wet on wet we'll just let watercolor do its thing we'll just uh, let it blend together because we're going to add a little bit more detail uh, to the top part to the land part so don't worry uh, if this is not looking picture perfect at this moment next we add a uh, burnt sienna for the land just a simple line like this Now we are starting with another layer for the top trees so that they are slightly darker than the reflection that we have in the lake. So we will be using the same set of colors. We will be using the uh, yellow, the green, the red in the same order like just like what we did for the first wash. Just that this time we are using a lot more pigment and less water and also our paper is not wet beforehand. So for the first wash uh, we had wet the paper completely and put the colors on. So that's the reason that your colors dried much much lighter. This time we are doing more of a wet and dry technique. So we are directly adding in the layers, uh, the colors onto the dry paper. Moving on to the red trees. Now we'll add a few red leaves at the base of these trees. Just uh, using the same pyrrole red, uh, a slightly pigmented value for this.
last round of detailing for the trees so just use the same color with uh, a slightly more pigment so add uh, less water and just uh, so that it is much darker than the previous layer or you could add a hint of blue to darken it as well uh, don't do this for the yellow uh, i guess the yellow one we'll just leave it like that uh, we're just going to do this for the red and the green trees we're just going to add another darker layer onto these trees Now let's add uh, the base, the trunk for these trees. So I'm using the same uh, burnt sienna for the base, uh, the same one that I used for uh, the wooden base. last round of detailing for the wooden base so for this i'm using a burnt umber i'm going to add a little bit detail to the area where the planks join and after this we just use the same color to add a little texture to this wooden surface And that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this simple tutorial and you'll give this a try. So see you soon in the next one.